That's where we're going. Casablanca, Morocco's largest city, where the Atlantic Ocean meets modern greatness and century-old traditions. From the old Medina to the Art Deco buildings in the city center, each corner tells a story of a bygone era. Known for its beauty blend of Moorish architecture and its vibrant culture, there's no place quite like it. Join me as we explore the heart and soul of this memorizing city. I'm in Africa. Nice. Now we're going to Casablanca's Instagram place. Casablanca, located on the Atlantic coast of Morocco, is a city with a rich and multifaceted history that dates back thousands of years. Originally a small Berber settlement known as Alpha, it is an important strategic and commercial center by the early century AD, engaging in a trade across the Mediterranean and Atlantic. The El Hank Lighthouse, operating since 1919, has been the guardian of Casablanca's shores. The mosque is partly built over the Atlantic Ocean, supported by thousands of pillars that reach deep into the seabed. This unique construction was inspired by a verse from the Quran that states, the throne of Allah was upon the water. A testament to faith and artistry, Hassan II's mosque stands on the ocean's brisk. Its minaret, the tallest in the world, symbolizes Morocco's architectural innovation. This was the city that was the inspiration for the classic 1942 film Casablanca. The film played a major role in shaping the international image of the city as a romantic and mysterious place. Casablanca's Meditua is a lively area perfect for those looking to relax by the sea or enjoy a beautiful sunset. The people here are buzzing with energy. People often swim and play in the ocean right next to the mosque, especially during warmer days. The mosque's dramatic backdrop against the Atlantic waves provide a beautiful and unique environment for these activities. It's an excellent blend of a cultural landmark and a natural recreational space where the majesty of the mosque complements the natural beauty and playfulness of the ocean. In the 15th century, the Portuguese recognized its strategic importance and established a trading post there renaming it Casa Branca. However, after an earthquake in 1755 and attacks by Moroccan forces, the city fell under Moroccan control again and was rebuilt and renamed Aldeida Albeida, which translates to White House in Arabic, while retaining the Spanish name Casablanca given by a Spanish trader. The mosque was officially opened on August 30th, 1993 to coincide with the 60th birthday of King Hassan II of Morocco. During the French colonial period starting in 1912, Casablanca underwent significant development and modernism, becoming an important economic and administrative center in Morocco. The city's architecture from this period contributes to its unique aesthetics today. In 2019, Pope Francis visited the mosque as part of his historical visit to Morocco, aimed at promoting peace. This visit included a tour of the mosque and a meeting with the Moroccan king, symbolizing the importance of respect between religion. The visit was significant as they represented the continuousness of relationship initiated by Pope John Paul II, who was the first Pope to visit a mosque during his visit in 1985. Behind me is the Hassan II Mosque, one of the largest mosques in the world. Its tallest point stands at 210 meters, a beacon of Islamic architecture. 
Casablanca isn't just a city. It's an experience filled with the warmth of its people and the richness of its culture. The walls are of handcrafted marble and the roof is retractable. A maximum of 105,000 worshipers can gather together for prayer. 25,000 inside the mosque's hall and another 80,000 on the mosque outside ground. Moroccans are incredibly proud of their customs and traditions. Dress modestly, especially when visiting mosques and traditional neighborhoods to show your respect. I kind of like this trip though. Yeah, I got shorts under this. I got no shirt though. But if I was on this shit on a regular, you just believe I'm free balling out here, bro. Going to somewhere else. Nice. Getting around Casablanca is part of the adventure. From the reliable buses to the modern tramway system, there's a range of options. Yo, welcome to the United National Square of uh, Casablanca. Uh, look. This is the architecture I'm trying to show you is it okay to put the book. This right here looks like Cuba. So there's that building behind it. That building right here looks like Cuba. And Little Havana. Casablanca is a city that honors its past while boldly stepping into the future. It's this blend of tradition and modernism that makes it so captivating. The United Nations Square is not just a bustling hub, it's a symbol of peace and unity. Conceived in the post-World War II era, it represents the city's global connection and aspirations. The city also played a notable role during World War II, hosting the Casablanca Conference in 1943 where Winston Churchill and Franklin D. Roosevelt discussed the progress of the war and planned future strategies. Beyond the famous landmarks, Casablanca hides many gems. Venture off beaten paths to discover unique boutiques, charming cafes, and the city's vibrant art scene. Step through the gates of Bob Marrakesh and you'll transport into the soul of old Casablanca. The Medina with its maze-like alleys tells tales of a city that has evolved while keeping its spirit intact. Exploring Casablanca's markets is a must do, immerging yourself in the local culture. Moroccans are known for their hospitality and love to share their traditions. Don't miss out on a traditional Moroccan tea or a friendly chat in the bustling markets. The Courtier have its blending Moroccan craftsmanship with European style in what is now known as the New Medina. While Arabic and French is the official languages, English and Spanish is also widely spoken in Casablanca. A few phrases in any of these languages will go a long way in making connections with the locals. In Casablanca, there's a delightful blend of architectural styles that make exploring the city a fun experience. In the heart of Morocco, making architectural exploration a fascinating activity for enthusiasts and casual tourists alike. We Casablanca, that's it. We Casablanca. Now we are, now we love, just we.
Casablanca is a city of layers. Each dynasty and colonial period left its mark, creating its unique culture. Mohammed V Square remains a colonial era heartland, showcasing Morocco's complex history and French influence. Following Morocco's independence from France in 1956, Casablanca continued to grow rapidly, becoming the economic and business heart of Morocco. Today, it's known for its vibrant culture, historical sites, and as a gateway to Moroccan tourism, blending its rich heritage with modern energy. French General Consonant echoes the legacy of French colonialism. Here's a fun fact. Why did the Church of Notre Dame install the revolving door? Because they heard people were in a rush to get to heaven, but everyone kept coming back to Casablanca because they felt like they were already in paradise. Let's see where I'm supposed to go.
Bon. to go run grab a train so I get back to the airport so I take my happy ass back home I'm going fucking god buddy I fucking got up this <laughs> alright let's go we gotta get to this train station where is it at I see like some tower that's close to it beneath the bustling streets of Casablanca lies a treasure trove of history waiting to be discovered. It's impossible to explore all the hidden stories of the city's iconic location in just one visit. From breathtaking architecture to warm welcoming locals, Casablanca is a city that truly has it all. Each corner tells a story, each building holds a secret. With its incredible people and rich culture, it promises an unforgettable journey. Embrace it with an open heart and you'll leave with memories to cherish for a lifetime. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Casablanca. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more adventures. Until next time, arrivederci ragazzi! Even a little part of Cuba came here 